And from Vitus Field in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the American Sports Network presents the 2016 CAA Women's Lacrosse Championship. The two seed, Towson Tigers, taking on the top seed, James Madison Dukes. Partway through the season, and it's tough. And the first opportunity and the first goal of the afternoon for the Tigers. One to nothing as Brianna Hamm. Draw circle, so many dynamite athletes are positioned around that draw circle. Certainly one of the more exciting parts of the game today. And quickly they find the cutter and Taylor Gress to answer at the opposite end. Good rotation of the ball. They've got Ham out in front. She answers again. Brianna Ham, wide open in front, 2 1. And quickly answering at the opposite end, Natalie Soltamante. From the wing! Drawing the defenders, looking for an outlet. Quick movement inside, and the answer once again. Gabby Cha with the goal. And fast athletes, you know, I really would like to see them push a little bit harder toward that. And finally, the answer. Brookhart, and off the rebound! Towson answers once again! Motobano. Somate trying to weave her way through, and she does score! Second goal of the afternoon! You can catch passes around the 12th meter, and then you're trying to force passes inside the 8th meter. It's not boating well. And the answer at the opposite end! Natalie Somonte with the hat trick on the afternoon. In lacrosse. Quick move of the ball once again. And Somonte picks up her fourth. Lawler trying to jump over the top and she does. Brooks Lawler with the goal. And a quick answer out of the timeouts is Alyssa Farrow. Well, the save before that by Angie Benson was absolutely incredible. That one uh, not saved. And quickly off the rebound. Emily Poma with the goal, 10-4. But 0 for 4 for free positions was JMU in the first half. Lawler with time, and she puts it home! Philadelphia in the coming weeks. Gillingham walks right in and beats Hermeyer for the goal, 11-5 Tigers. And a nice job of patiently waiting for Alyssa Farrow to put it home and the seven goal lead once again. And then we, we won't be even again until there's about 40, 48 right. seconds left to go in this game. And the Tigers. The lefty gets to go on the whistle and quickly it's Lawler with the goal, her second of the afternoon, 13-6. Under a minute to go. And easily put away for the Tigers, Sam Burkhardt, who had an assist on the last goal. And the Tesla Tigers win their seventh CAA championship, 14 to six over JMU. They are headed to the NCAAs. Joining us right now, the head coach, of the Tigers, Sonia LaMonica, thanks very much, Coach. Your team was impressive from the onset today. 
Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I'm um, just so proud. They were hungry, they were determined, and, um, yeah, you know, that's it. They showed that on the field, I think, for the full game, so I'm very proud of them. Brianna Ham, an absolute complete game and a complete player. Speak to what she's provided for this team, especially as you made this postseason conference tournament run. Uh, she's just such an unsung hero for us over the course of her career. She's done all the intangibles, the stuff that doesn't show up on the stat line. Um, today she showed up on the stat line pretty good. Um, but she was just, a, she's been a rock for us, um, our leader, a captain, and she was just, uh, she, it was incredible to see her shine on defense today and came up with play after play after play. So, <laughs> incredible. Coach, you may have a new leader on your team coming from the freshman class going into the sophomore year here in Natalie Somonte. Talk about her effort on the field this afternoon. Tell you, she's one of the toughest kids I've ever coached. Uh, she just takes the hits, she gets up, she keeps going. Uh, she's relentless, tenacious. Yeah, uh, we're very fortunate to have um, a young player like her um, to come in and, and take over the reins in the future years of our program.